we're back at it again. And guys, we got a little bit of breaking news. We've been waiting. Fingers crossed all week. We want to hear something, anything. And it now looks like it's being reported. Adam Schefter had it first. Um, looks like that the Colts are absolutely targeting Shane Steichen to be the next quarter, uh, the next coach of uh, the Indianapolis Colts. Um, definitely looks like a situation where things are developing pretty fast. Things are going to go in that direction uh, pretty quickly. So, Stephen, I think you even heard that they are potentially informing all of the other coaches that's the direction they intend on going um, here on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like according to Schefter, which we say this, take it all with a grain of salt, right? Like we don't we don't officially know anything, but according to Schefter, they informed the other candidates this morning that they yeah. were going to be going after Steichen and that it looks like they're going to offer him the job that they're it's basically pending the end of the Super Bowl at this point. Yeah. So it looks like they've started to inform that they maybe not even started that they have informed the other candidates. Uh, I mean, it really started to heat up yesterday. I mean, I know me and you were talking that they had yeah. there were some tweets that came out yesterday that they were out of Philly, that they were very much zeroing in on him. And yeah. it looks like it looks like that's this is going to be the guy, man, is what it looks like. A lot of smoke coming out of there, and you know, like the old saying, where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And I think yesterday we got a little stream of that smoke going, and as the day went on, it started to to develop and to develop and to develop, and then all of a sudden, looks like you know, and and I, and I understand, you know, Chris Ballard's stance on this with what happened with Josh McDaniels. He wants to see the ink dried on that contract, you know, before he makes any type of an announcement. Um, but really, if, if if you kind of put two and two together, all the tea leaves made no announcement this week. It really all kind of pointed towards Shane Steichen, if you really think about it. Um, just from the just from the simple standpoint that why else would you wait on anybody else other than Shane Steichen? You know, you could have you could have put a simple leak out there, not made a big headline. I know the NFL kind of frowns upon releasing things during the Super Bowl. So what did we do? We released it on Super Bowl, baby. We're the Indianapolis Colts, and we said, you know what, we're going to let this come out day of uh, the actual Super Bowl, which I don't have a problem with. I mean, everybody's still going to watch the Super Bowl. They're still going to enjoy all of that stuff. And then we'll get to this as the season goes on. They're either going to be celebrating as a Super Bowl champion um, or they're going to be very disappointed that they lost a, a hard-fought game to the Kansas City Chiefs. But either way, we just wanted to hop on here and have a quick conversation we want to get your thoughts, you know, everybody who's already a part of the family. You guys do such a great job of commenting. If you aren't a part of this family, we're asking that you join this family um, because your voice matters. And that's what we started this platform for, um, what, almost two years ago at this point. And yeah. we're, we're very excited to keep doing this. More to come when it comes to Shane Steichen. But do you just have, before we get off here, um, just some quick initial thoughts? I don't know enough to really talk in depth and detail. And we're going to get into a lot of that. I mean, we're going to hash that out. I'm sure next week's going to be a lot of Shane Steichen, you know, background info and stuff like that, but just some initial thoughts as far as that goes. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited. I, I laugh because literally as we're talking, my bleach report app just hit saying Shane Steichen considered uh, likely headed to the Colts. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's breaking everywhere. I understand they didn't want to do it. You didn't want him to be distracted. I, the Colts won't say anything like you said. We found out – kind of interesting fact was, and credit to George Brimmer, that we found out they share an agent. That's how this stayed so quiet. I mean, yeah. so quiet. They, it was mutually beneficial. Um, he's got a history with Bradley. You know, he's got a – he does have a lengthy history with Gus Bradley out when they were in San Diego, L.A. I, I think one of the more interesting things with this is going to be – the quarterback position now because he has worked with so many different types. He's worked with Rivers, Herbert, you know, then he worked with obviously with Hertz. Like he's worked with a variety. So I think it really opens up to where, like we talked, like Callahan felt like that was going to be a CJ Stroud, you know, Morris, we would see where that would have gone. He's, it really opens up to where you're going to look at all these quarterbacks. He can work, I think, with all of them. I'm excited. I'm going to say this. As a Colts fan, as it's breaking and it looks like this, now you can sit back and then watch the Super Bowl and be like, okay, let's see how this offense looks, and you can kind of play with it in your head a little. And if I'm if I'm a Colts fan too, jump over a wager wire, right, <laughs> and place your bet on, the, on, your, on your hopeful potential next coach. You know, we all know that you can get in and out of them. You can place it. You can still do it. Remember, you guys can do it right up to the whistle. We love wager wire here, but go ahead, place the bet on the potential new head coach of the Colts. Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, 
me and you both, he wasn't like super high, but I think I texted you yesterday. The interesting thing is if you go back to the beginning of this, this was definitely a dude we talked about that we didn't think the Colts would even approach because of the Sirianni link. If you go back to the beginning, he was at the top of the board for a lot of people yeah. when they first fired Frank Reich. So that's a good if, – if it follows through, which every all signs point to that's where it's headed, it's a good hire, man. It's a slam dunk hire, and it does prove to me too that Ursay let – you can have the argument if Ballard should be here. I think it's definitely okay. But it does prove that Ursay – saw the tea leaves, saw that people thought he had overstepped, and he let his people do their job. Yeah, and, and I like that. You know, I mean, if you're going to keep him around as a general manager, whether you're on one side of the fence or the other, at least let the man be the general manager. Make the ultimate decision. Love it for two reasons. Um, I've, I've always been a proponent of an offensive head coach, especially if you're going to have a young quarterback. That relationship is so important. You hire this guy, you draft the right quarterback, you don't have this turnover at that at that offensive position. You've got a guy that you move, you know, I don't know if he's going to be the play caller. Maybe he takes a Nick Sirianni approach and he says, I'm going to get someone else to come in and call the plays, and I'm going to kind of oversee that way. Uh, be interesting to see what he decides as far as that goes. But he's going to be heavily, heavily involved, and there's no doubt – um, he's done a fantastic job there in Philadelphia. I mean, he just has. Um, mm-hmm. They've been just a, a, a juggernaut all season long. Doesn't hurt to have A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Miles Sanders, Dallas Goddard, and Jalen Hurts either, right? Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it doesn't hurt to have that talent. But when you do have that talent, what are you going to do with that talent? Well, I think it's a pretty, pretty glaring example of what he can do if you put playmakers around him. If yeah, and one back. thing that I was going to piggyback with you that you I, I want to give you massive credit with this because I'm interested to see if he does this. If he wins the Super Bowl today and they announce him tomorrow or Tuesday, you've got a Super Bowl winning OC, young guy, highly thought of. He can come in and flex his muscle and say, hey, we need these. I need playmakers. Yeah, and that's going to be an interesting thing to see and watch. It will. It will be. And. How ironic would it be, you know, to have the last two guys come to your team, be the offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles after they've won a Super Bowl? And he comes yeah. from the Frank Reich tree. That's a little weird to me. The, that's a discussion for another time, you know. Um, but as far as we know, right now it's developing, looking like that Shane Steichen is going to be the next head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. Hit us up with your comments. Like it, hate it, love it, anything. We don't care. Use your voice. And as always, we end these things kind of the same way. I love you. Steven loves you. Shane Steichen probably loves you too. So there you go. And we're out.